My guest today is the Communications and Digital Coordinator at the Chilliwack Chiefs. Ladies and gentlemen, time to get to know a little bit about Haley Ferguson. Hey, Haley, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me on, Nancy. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's my pleasure for sure. So first of all, what does your job do? What do you yeah. do? <laughs> what do I do? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's a bit of a vague title because I do a whole lot around here at both the Chilliwack Chiefs and the Chilliwack Coliseum. So I take care of all the kind of social media, all the kind of digital stuff, any kind, anytime you see video of the guys uh, around the rink or, or any kind of graphics, that's all me. Um, as well, I do all kind of the community events with the guys. I plan if they're going out to read out of school, I go, I plan that and I, I take them to the school and we get to know the community. And so I do a, a whole lot of different stuff with the team and any kind of media relations stuff. When did you get involved with the Chiefs? Yeah, so it's kind of a funny story, actually. So uh, after I graduated high school in 2014, I, uh, I'm originally from Nanaimo on Vancouver Island. Right. And uh, I got involved because there I had been a billet sister with our local BCHL team. And I knew I wanted to get involved with the BCHL. Um, so one of the staff members there told me um, I should reach out to Barry Douglas, who you've had on, on your show before. And uh, so I got involved with the Chiefs as I went to UFE for a couple of years and I did kind of the instant host. So I was the person with the mic walking around the arena and I kind of started social media there. So yeah, it was, it's been a while and I, I went away from the Chiefs, went to school for a couple of years and it's great to be back. So I came back again, January 1st, 2020. So, um, you know, you yeah. went to school, what did you take in school? Yeah, so I went, I went to school in Toronto at a school called the College of Sports Media. Uh, so I did television and radio broadcasting, um, which was an amazing program and loved, loved it. <laughs> I bet. I can, I can only, well, you know, you know, what yeah. I, never, but, and I can only imagine going to school for it. That would have been so cool. For it sure. was so, so cool. So hands on, which was awesome. Yeah. So, but you know, it sounds like you always knew you want to be involved in sports in some way. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. So I grew up, um, it, our BCHL team in Nanaimo is called the Nanaimo Clippers and I grew up right from the age of one and two my dad taking me to the games and sat on his lap as the games went on and as I got older I was the person that would listen to the radio with the play-by-play -play during the games and then as I got a little bit older we started to bill it so the billeting program it's the same here in Chilliwack and really across the BCHL is players come from out of province out of town to play for our teams and they need a place to live. So they put them with families, kind of like an international student uh, situation. And so the players come and live with families, local families for the season. And so I really got involved with the BCHL and really fell in love with it when we, when we started doing that. Uh, no, are you still doing that? I'm no longer, and my, my parents are no longer. They kind of stopped after I moved out. Uh, they wanted to be empty nesters. And, but uh, yeah, it was an amazing amazing I so we still talk to the players and it's cool to kind of see them move on from the BCHL into their college careers and university and and really grow up into into really great men instead of just the, the hockey playing boys like they were when they came to us yeah that sounds really fascinating yeah right it's an, it's an amazing program yeah so so now tell me a little bit more about about your day-to-day -day job you know on a daily yeah. basis what what are you are you doing yeah, so day to day, it kind of depends on if it's the regular season or or the off season. Right now, in the off season, we're really planning for for our games and our our season ahead. So right now, we're we're talking to sponsors and our partners, kind of getting them involved with our team again. Um, a big thing I do is um, I manage our social media, as I kind of mentioned. So I'm building graphics, I'm filming content, um, I'm planning ahead for the season, and and what we can do kind of to expand our social media. Um, then during the regular season, it doesn't change too, too much, but um, I'll go to the community events with our players. I'll write any kind of media releases, um, just kind of whatever needs to be done around the rink as well. So when you work for a junior hockey team, you, uh, <laughs> you get to try a whole lot of stuff. So whether that even be just on a, a day, a scorekeeping for a scrimmage, kind of whatever needs needs to be done around here. Right. Now, do you foresee any kind of uh, problems with the COVID? 
As of right now, no. So the biggest thing um, for us is we do fall under the uh, vaccine records check as a ticketed sporting event. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, a regulation by the PHO. So that's something we'll definitely um, be doing and be vigilant on. Um, the other thing for us is as of right now, um, it's 50% capacity. So for our arena though, that's still 27 hundred fans so we'll still be able to get a lot of people in and a lot of season ticket holders and our sponsors and, and our just our more casual fans so I think I think this season's going to be really great for us as a team right I just want to say that uh, I was volunteering at the culture center this morning and that's exactly what I was doing I was checking people's uh, COVID pass yeah uh, and it's such an easy process uh, you know so easy yeah need, right it was just nice and simple show an ID show your pass and yeah. I scanned it and it was as simple as that Exactly. And to be honest, we don't know a ton of details exactly, but it sounds like for our season ticket holders, we'll just have to have them fill out a form before the season tickets or before the season starts and they're good for the rest of the season. And for our walk up fans, exactly same, just a quick show of your pass, your ID and you're, you're ready in. Exactly. It's so simple. And, and um, you know, one of the things I, I, I heard people we were worrying about, um, uh, at least for the for the coaches and we're about maybe people giving a, us a hard time it nobody did everybody was yeah. very very cooperative and I think yeah, well, we've had amazing response just already from our fans already totally understanding and, and just happy to come back and watch some Chiefs hockey yeah exactly if people want to be doing want to be there right it's not exactly that want to be there exactly so that's very good so now today yeah, I know you've taken some time out to do this, which I really appreciate it. Oh, of course. So uh, I hope you're not you're doing this on your lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> no, no worries. No worries. I could definitely work the end of the schedule today. No problem. So are you uh, now because of what you do, are yeah. you kind of um, like on your own in a way, like scheduling your make you up your own schedule? Yeah, very much. So we kind of uh, we sit down as a staff every Monday morning. There's um, there's four of us. Well, five of us, including our bookkeeper, Fred me in in the office and our kind of our business operations. Right. And then there's uh, four guys. We have three coaches and one trainer on our hockey staff. So we sit down together on Monday mornings and just kind of schedule what needs to be done. Um, what's kind of a priority, what somebody might need help with from, from another person in the office. And from there, yeah, it's, it's very flexible of um, as long as things get done, we can really, we, it's, it's a really great opportunity and a, a really great work, uh, workplace culture that we have that we get our work done and yeah you can kind of not do your own thing but you can work on your schedule which is uh, nice that's really good and yeah. uh, you're still looking for volunteers as well is that correct yes absolutely yeah if, we'd love to have as many volunteers as possible this season it's going to be a really really cool year as you said we're you know getting back into the swing of things we got a new volunteer coordinator uh Cara Gardner who is amazing and so eager to get this uh this year going so yeah definitely if you're you're interested in volunteering give me an email um Haley H-A-Y-L-E-Y at chilliwackchiefs.net and we'll we'll get you set up we so many so many different jobs you know we need ticket takers we need ushers who help welcome fans into where they sit um help with our chuck a puck table in our store so yeah lots of opportunities if if you're interested i already said told uh uh barry i believe that yeah I'm, I'm, and i think i told you as well yeah i would i'm willing to volunteer yeah absolutely i'll make sure to connect you and car it's gonna be a as i said a really cool season yeah i have to be careful because i sent a um over sometimes over book myself with yeah the and, and that's the other thing too if, if somebody is interested in volunteering it doesn't have to be for every game right um, yeah. we're happy to have you for what you can right well this has been really great and thank you for doing this i appreciate it anytime and i'll make sure your email is up there what this hopefully if this is not uh, aired today it will definitely be aired tomorrow awesome i will send you the link awesome we really appreciate it and uh yeah we're excited to have everyone back our our home opener is october 9th so hopefully okay. we can get as many fans in the Coliseum as possible. Sounds good. Well, just stay on um, camera while I say goodbye to the audience. Okay, everybody, thank you for look, uh, for um, listening to the show and what well watching. And uh, if you want to volunteer, the information will be posted. I'll make sure that's done. And uh, hope to see you again. And peace out, everybody. A sense of community to the wax a place to be. A sense of community where you're free Rolling through the mountains Rolling through the valley 
rolling through paradise with me. It's multicultural, you're sure to see it all. Chilliwack's the place to be, you'll see. Come party in the park, go dancing after dark. Chilliwack's the place to be, you'll see.